Hey guys, Will here. Welcome back to another battle report. Tonight um, I'll be using my Eldar and once again we'll be taking on Sam's Raven Guard. Now I haven't actually uploaded the last battle we did yet, that probably will go up at some point. Um, but I got schmooshed in that. Um, it's probably up by the time uh, by the time you're seeing this. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping to uh, have a bit of a better result tonight because that was a bit of a, a bit of a bloodbath for the Eldar. Um, in that one, I was running my Dark Eldar allies, whereas tonight I'm back to running just pure Eldar. So as always, it smells from the boar, 1750 points, and uh, let's take a look at the armies and the mission. So here's my 1750. Um, Biltan Eldar army. This is a slightly scaled back version of the list I used in the 1850 tournament back in February. Um, to see how it got on there, uh, check the link in the description. But basically I've got a combined arms detachment as my core. So I've got a far seer on jet bike with um, a spirit stone of Anathlan and a singing spear. Then my troops, three squads, three jet bikes. Each of these have weapon upgrades. Two of them are scatter lasers, and the other one is shuriken cannons. Then I've got a wave serpent with shuriken cannon turret, shuriken cannon underslum, holo fields, and a squad of wraith guard transported inside it. Uh, they've got the wraith cannons rather than the D sides, and I've got my converted spirit seer with them. Then the other bit of my combined arms attachment, my heavy support is a Falcon Grav Tank with Bright Lance upgrade. Then I'm running two Aspect Hosts to make this a true Biltarn army. Ten Dire Revengers with an Exarch with a Shim Shield in a Wave Serpent with a Bright Lance and a Holo Field. Second squad of Dire Revengers, this time on foot. Unit of five Dark Reapers with upgraded Exarch and um, the upgraded missiles, so they have the crack missiles. A unit of six fire dragons with an Exarch, they'll be going in the Falcon. A unit of five warp spiders with an Exarch with a um, twin link scatter, uh, twin link, what's that called, uh, death spinner. And then five, six sweeping hawks with an Exarch. So that is 1750 points, um, combined arms detachment plus two aspect hosts. And here's Sam's 1750 point Talon Strike Force Raven Guard. Um, if you've watched a couple of my videos recently, you may have uh, seen, this, seen this list already. But we've got his um, Warlord, is a uh, Space Wing Captain with Swift Strike and Murder. That's the Relic Power Clause that can give him extra attacks. And he's also got the Raven's Fury Jump Pack, uh, Artificer Armor, and a Melter Bomb. He'll be leading a Battle Demi Company that's part of a Talon Strike Force. So we've got 10 Assault Marines with two Flamers, five Devastators with two Grav Cannons in a Drop Pod, and then three Tactical Squads. All of them have Drop Pods and five guys. These two have Melter Guns and Combi Melters, and this one is a Grav Gun and a Combi Grav. Then for his Auxiliaries, got a Raptor Wing, which is two Storm Talons upgraded with um, Skyhammer Missiles, and then uh, yeah, two Land Speeders with Heavy Bolters and Assault Cannons. Just a thing to bear in mind on those Storm Talons, um, as we play this, the new Death from the Skies hasn't come out, so uh, you may be watching this after Death from the Skies has come out, so I don't know how that's going to affect the rules for them, but just bear in mind this is being filmed before that came out. And then we've got his Shadow Strike Kill Team. We've got two units of Scouts with Sniper Rifles and two units of Vanguard Veterans, all with paired Lightning Claws. That's a nasty little unit there. When they hit, they hit hard. So that's 1750 points of Raven Guard. We're about to roll up for mission. Because of his um, formation bonuses, Sam's actually going to get to re-roll that mission if he wants to and re-roll seize the initiative. But anyway, let's go on and see what mission we're playing and how the army's deployed. Right, so we're all set to go. The mission we rolled up was um, capturing control, so uh, nice basic one, um, regular sort of corners deployment and um, three objectives each. Raven Guard um, won the roll off to go first, thanks to their re-roll. And as ever, Sam's deployed a fairly minimum amount He's got his big assault squad there with his captain and the two land speeders from the raptor wing. Um, and then he's infiltrated a group of scouts over there who then scouted forward into range of the dire avengers. 
and another group of scouts over there. Okay, so as for the Eldar army, most of us have clustered together around Objective 2. We've got the Dark Reapers in the centre, Falcon with the Spirit Serum Wraith Guard, sorry, Wave Serpent with the Spirit Serum Wraith Guard to the front. Falcon with the Fire Dragons off to the side, bikes behind there, more bikes behind here with the Farseer and Dire Avengers in their Wave Serpent there. Off to this side we've got a third unit of bikes and over on this side we've got the on foot unit of Dire Avengers. Um, in reserves Sam's got pretty much his whole army and I've got a unit of what are these guys, Swooping Hawks and a unit of warp spiders and a lot of stuff riding in transports. Um, at the moment Raven Guard have first turn, but let's see if I can steal that initiative. Boom, it's a six. Initiative stolen. This could give the Eldar the edge they need as we head into turn one. So, really keen to capitalise on stealing the initiative there. Um, my objectives were Ascendant Sea, Scorpio objectives, Harness the Warp, and Kane's Wrath, which is launch an assault with an Eldar unit. So that one was straight out the window, that's been discarded at the end of the turn, because I don't have any units that could do that, even if they wanted to. Um, I spread my army out to try and grab Ascendancy. The Farseer and his squad shot right over there to claim Objective 3, while the Dire Avengers blasted four out of five scouts off. There is one scout still hiding behind there. Um, unfortunately, didn't do enough to kill them, but to be honest, with Shrouded on turn one, the Raven Guard should have passed more saves, and um, did a bad luck there. Um, the other objective out on this flank was claimed by these jet bikes, and the scout squad was likewise reduced to one, this time by the fire of the wave serpent, and again, some really unlucky saves there for the scouts. Land speeders were taken out by the combined firepower of this wave serpent, but moved up a little bit, and the dire, uh, dark reapers, um, not being able to take duke saves against them, really uh, made a bit of an impact on the speeders. And then these jet bikes had an absolute blitz of a time put eight wounds onto that squad over there and he rolled five ones for his saves. So the Assault Marines, yeah, a um, bit of bad luck there. Luckily for Sam he did pass all his saves um, and my Farseer was able to get Fortune up on his own unit. Uh, so as we head into the Raven Guard's first turn, I've scored Harness the Warp for casting Fortune and Ascendancy is going to score me D3, which is a 4, so 2 points. Uh, with First Blood, that leaves me 4 1 up as we head into the Raven Guard first turn. Sam, I think you've got some uh, reserves to bring on, haven't you? Yeah, so 2 Storm Talons on 4 ups. 1 over me. Excellent, we have a Storm Talon. Uh, I'm drop both my Grav squads in their Plug Soul, so just a 2 melts plus to draw 4. Yep. Both on. Both on, so I've got four drop pods and a Storm Talon coming in. Let's see what the Raven Guard can do with all these new assets as we head into the first Raven Guard turn. So, turn one for the Raven Guard started with a rain of steel pods slamming into the ground and a legion of powerful warriors getting out. Um, Sam's objectives were to secure Objective 5, <laughs> Objective 6, get Supremacy, and also Raven Guard won't keep to the shadows, which is stay in vehicles or near terrain. Um, so Objective 5 was scored quite easily by the scouts when he's sitting there. All he had to do was deal with the jet bikes down here. And uh, these, this tactical squad only melted guns came out and blasted them to bits. Um, it, I should have jinked, to be honest. I thought, oh well, I've got a little bit of cover anyway. I won't need to jink that. And yeah, fluffed all my armor saves and died horribly. So uh, yeah, they did. Um, in the centre, two more squads got out. Uh, these guys shot at, they're the ones with the grav guns, shot at the Dire Avengers, no, Dark Reapers, who were also shot by two of the drop pods. Left me with just one dude left, but he passed his leadership test. Then the guys with the melter guns shot at the Falcon, and it passed its jinx saves, so that's, uh, that's a big relief there, no damage there. Um, this jet bike, um, or was a squad of jet bikes, took fire from the Storm Talon, and uh, that was, uh, yeah, would have actually died if I hadn't jinked, but I managed to pass enough saves just to keep the one guy alive. And then this pod from the Devastators came down right on top of that objective, only managed to kill one of that squad thanks to Jink and Fortune, um, and quite frankly some lucky dice rolls on my part. 
Um, so points wise, Sam did manage to get six and five, and also scored supremacy for having those two objectives and that one down there, and I've only got one, so he's going to need to roll for that now. It's a six, so three points there. So that brings him on to five points. Didn't get State of the Shadows because um, too many of his squads are out in the open after disembarking, but he's discarded that one. So after Raven Guard turn one, it is five four to the Space Marines. Start of turn two, Eldar objectives, secure objective five, strike from the sky, oh sorry, Skyborn Assault and Scour the Skies. Um, so, Warp Spiders, I managed to roll them up from reserves, unfortunately the Hawks stayed off. They came down here, we shot the scouts and battle focused into there, so they've got me Objective 5 for a point. Um, I didn't want to disembark too much from my transports, so the uh, Wave Serpent with the Dire Revenge has moved up here, killed a couple of tactical marines, Wave Serpent with the um, Wraith Guard in, uh, backed up over here, killed three more tactical marines. I was hoping I could take down that storm talon with some lucky um, snap firing, but unfortunately I only had one dark reaper left and he missed despite a reroll. And the Farseer squad, which were um, snap firing, um, shot it, and uh, yeah, unfortunately didn't manage to get any hits either. Uh, I they did manage to cast fortune on them, so at least they're less likely to die next turn. Um, fire Dragons popped out of their transport and massacred this tactical squad, but then completely fluffed the battle focus when they were trying to get back down to here to stay alive. And the Dire Revengers over here shot most of the Devastators, left one alive, and charged him to uh, actually win and assault the Dire Revengers. That's not meant to happen. <laughs> so, points wise, I unfortunately didn't do enough damage with my skimmers to get Skyborn Assault, and that Storm Talon is very much still alive, although jinking, so that's no scale of the skies for me. But I did score up five, so that brings us back to level pegging, five points to five, as we head into the next Raven Guard turn. Um, upon which the Storm Talon is going to arrive automatically, the second one, because of the formation bonus, and Sam could choose to bring in his two units of Vanguard. Let's see what happens as we go into turn two. So a brutal turn two for the Raven Guard was started off with the first squad of Dark Talons deep striking down here, and Sam drawing his objectives, domination, secure objective six, which is... That one there, and also uh, let them know fear, make a unit fail and morale check. So to spread out and claim domination of all six objectives um, wasn't that tough because he had a lot of drop points, and some of them were already offset sitting on objectives. So this one's already holding one, this one's already holding one, that one's already holding one. Um, he broke his captain off from his assault squad to go and claim four, and these guys, which are offset, came down to get number five. Um, they then shot at the Warp Spiders, who, knowing they didn't need to stick around anyway, flicker jumped to here, lost one of their number from the fire of the um, tacticals, but at least uh, the Warp Spiders are safe. Um, this Storm Talon and this tactical squad fired at the one Dark Reaper who was up here, but in the end it was those bloody drop pods that killed him. <laughs> but hey, you know, four units to kill one guy, I'm not going to whinge too much about that. However, this drop and that one surviving scout uh, put three wounds on the, or could kill three of the Dire Avengers, and uh, they're running away now, so that scored him a point. And um, yeah, this Storm Talon killed off the, the fresh one that came on this turn, killed off three of the Dark uh, three Fire Dragons before the Vanguard charged in and killed them all horribly. So uh, yeah, oh, and this tactical squad tried to charge the Wave Serpent, but thankfully failed despite the rerolls. So um, yeah, uh, pretty good turn there. He scored objective six, he scored Let Them No Fear, and he's got D6 for domination. Two. Okay, it's, that's a relief. That's it's, not. But it's D3 uh, plus three. Oh, it's D3 plus three, so that's actually a four. So very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. So things are looking pretty good for the Raven Guard, but um, there's still plenty of Eldar buffing their transports down here, ready to uh, put some serious hurt on the space marines. So let's see what we can do as we head into turn t uh, turn three. Firstly, are my um, Spooky Hawks going to turn up? No, once again they stay in reserves. 
And are these guys over there going to rally? Yes, they rally. Okay, here we go. Eldar, turn three. So as we go into turn three, the Eldar have got three objectives. No prisoners, kill something. Secure objective four, which is... Where's objective four? Right over in the corner there, so that was my thing to get to. And Skyborne Assault, kill something with a skimmer or jet bike. Both um, Skyborne Assault and No Prisoners come with a caveat. If I do three things with that, I get D3 for them. So, this was the turn that my infantry chose to disembark and strike. Firstly, the Wave Circle. Out come the Wolf the Wraith Band. Now, I realised when I did my deployment video, I had included a Spirit Seer in them. I actually had to drop him for the list to make it 1750. So there was no Spirit Seer in there. But it mattered not. 5D cannon, or 5 Wraith Cannons was quite enough to wipe out the entire unit of Vanguard Veterans. So uh, that's them dealt with. Meanwhile, this rallied squad had a lucky shot through the drop pod into that scout, and he passed his save. Now, over here, there was a little squad of two tactical marines, killed them with the Farseer squad, and then over here, I two, two squads to deal with the assault marines. I thought, oh, well, that's fine, the Dire Avengers will take them. No, I only killed like two of them. Then this wave serpent shot them and only killed another two, so there's one left. So what am I going to take him down with? And then I remembered I had this jet bike over here that hadn't jinked last turn. That finished off the last assault marine, which freed up my warp spiders to kill the tactical squad that was there. And then that left the falcon free to shoot the captain. Um, I know why Sam moved him out of the squad, but that was a risky move. And uh, yeah, he took a bright lance to the head for his trolls. So uh, yeah, um, after the previous game where I got butchered by the Raven Guard by turn three, as we now head into the third Raven Guard turn, he has one infantry model left on the table, five in reserves, four drop pods and two flyers versus still a good chunk of my my army so uh, yeah things are going pretty well for the Eldar points wise didn't secure objective four but I'm going to keep hold of that for now no prisoners I killed off three units so that's a d3 that's just one warlord trait allows me to re-roll that that's a four that's better so that's worth two points and skyborne assault I finished off units with this wave serpent the falcon and this jet bike and that's worth two points as well. So that's a nice little score turn. Brings the old guard just into the lead, I think. And uh, yeah, Raven Guard are going to have some work to do as they try and come back at me in turn three. So, Sam's objectives this turn. Prioritise and destroy, which is basically a bonus slay the warlord. Um, he also had secure objective two, which is down here. And... Um, Kill a unit, they're basically just, yes, yeah, what killing a unit. So the second unit of uh, Vanguard came down and charged into the uh, jet bikes with the Farseer. Farseer killed one with his singing spear, um, but uh, they then killed all the jet bikes and took two wounds off the Farseer. So he's uh, he's in a bad way now, but he did pass his leadership test, which to be honest is a pain because I would have broken from combat otherwise and would have been uh, able to do something next turn. But as it is, he's just going to get chopped to bits and Sam's about to get. Warlord. Um, other than that, all these pods did a grand total of killing a couple of Dire Avengers, and the two flyers both swooped in on the Avengers. And thanks to some quite unfortunate rolls and some good saves with their invuns, there's two Avengers left who then rolled double one for their leadership, so they're sticking around. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Oh, and that scout had a shot at the um, Dire Avengers there and only killed, uh, didn't kill any of them. So yeah, points. Wise, all he got was the point of killing the unit because the jet bikes are gone. But yeah, a pretty tough turn when you've not got many models left. Uh, it starts to become a bit of a pain this game. But uh, yeah, let's see if the Eldar can capitalise on this advantage as we head into turn four. So with the Farseer tied up in combat, the first thing I really wanted to do was try and save him from the Dark Fury. So I charged in the Dire Avengers. Now I had doomed the Dark Furies to make this work a little bit better. When I say Dark Furies, I mean Vanguard Veterans, it's just the model he's using. I actually managed to kill three out of four of them with the charge of the Avengers. Unfortunately, the surviving one killed the Farseer. 
failed his leadership yeah. test, but we caught him. So, uh, uh, yeah, I may have lost my Warlord, but uh, at least the Dark Furies are in a mess. Um, other than that, my objectives were to kill anything on Objective 3, and secure Objective 3, and secure 4. Now, 4 was a little out of my range, and 3, I couldn't get a unit to, but I did manage to wreck the drop bomb for the scout. Um, it was the uh, Swooping Hawks who helped with that, and then the Wave Serpent finished it off. So uh, that scored me a point, and I shot down one of his flyers. The um, Wraith Guard managed to get a couple of lucky sixes to hit, and uh, yeah, popped that right out of the sky. So all in all, not a bad turn. Didn't really score much in the way of points, just got the one point. But things are, on terms of numbers on the table, really swinging the Eldar's way. Sam's not had the best dice today. I think he knew it was going to go wrong once, uh, once they stole the initiative. There. I fucking hate the initiative. Like, <laughs> I would just swear every time about that stupid rule. <laughs> stupid rule! It is a bit of a pain in the butt, I'll give you that. But anyway, let's see what the uh, the dying embers of the Raven Guard can do on turn four. Turn four for the Raven Guard, short and sweet. The remaining flyer shot over here. Looks a bit of a strange position, but what he was planning to do was swivel the assault cannon on the front round and shoot the wave serpent in the back. Uh, that's what he did, uh, but I jinked uh, and resulted in only losing one hull point. So, uh, not the end of the world there. And the last of the Dark Furies got cut down by the Dire Avengers. The Exarch with the Power Sword actually didn't do the work. It was the regular guys just butting him to death because Doom was still on from the last turn. Um, and some drop pods did some shooting that did nothing. So he has scored Hungry for Glory because he declared a challenge with the surviving uh, Vanguard. But other than that, um, yeah, not really much of a turn for the Raven Guard. On to turn five, let's finish this up. So with very few targets left and secure objectives three and four as my uh, objectives as well as Hungry for Glory, which I obviously wasn't going to be able to do. Um, it was a simple math matter of mopping up. Got the Dire Avengers over to three, the uh, Spiders over to four. This Wave Serpent tried to counter shoot the Flyer. Um, it was snap firing anyway, so might as well, but unfortunately uh, didn't do any damage. And then the Wraith Guard and the Grav Tanks started clearing up the points, because that's really all there was left. Um, so I got another couple of points there, and uh, yeah, Sam's final turn to salvage something from this. So, interesting little turn there for uh, Sam. Yeah, behind enemy lines and secure objective 5. So Storm Talon switched into hover mode, which claimed him objective 5. Um, and he's also behind my lines. So uh, yeah, that's actually two more points. Now we counted it up at the end of 5, and he's actually 16 to 14 up. Um, the army may have fallen apart under him, but it scored some down points. So this actually could end in a Raven Guard victory, but we need to roll for it. Sam, do the honours? No, no, it's on. It's a four, so we play one more turn. So, drew my objectives, and I had Secure Objective 1, Domination, and Secure Objective 4. So, uh, the way that's looking, um, with all the firepower I've got left, Sam's decided to end it there, which is fair enough. He's got a drop pod and a flyer left, and I've got a good chunk of my army. So, uh, thanks for a good game. I'm sorry your uh, dice rolls were less than ideal, but happens. it happens. You play a game of dice, you know, I had a shocking, shocking game of dice the other day. So, uh, yeah, hopefully it didn't uh, mully you too much. <laughs> uh, yeah, it wasn't in ter terrible dice. Failing a 7 inch charge with a reroll there. Yeah. Uh, what else is there? I mean, my returns came in nicely, but then when I was shooting these. Oh, these boys. Guys, yeah, you just couldn't kill them. Without talent. Rolling four ones on the assault cannon. Yeah. Insane. Oh, oh man. Yeah, no, you uh, And I had some, some jammy luck there with some of my stuff and, you know, beating the Dark Furies in combat with the Dire Avengers. Yeah, with a single wound. <laughs> with a single wound from a gun. <laughs> you know, it wasn't even the power weapon. It was just some random dude just going... <laughs> yeah. It's the way it is, but uh, no, good game, and certainly this Eldar list is performing a bit better than the one I ran the other week with the um, the Dark Eldar allies. I think pure, dark, pure Eldar is uh, still strongest, although the Raven Guard certainly put up a fight. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this battle report, and uh, join me again soon for more.